up, all my fabs and besties? I've been doing a little shopping on Amazon. I am always looking for new things to add to our miniverse, and I really want to expand my Lika-chan collection. Please forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that right. A long time ago, I bought one dressed as Hatsune Miku, but now I'm looking for something a little more casual. Enter Amazon. Let's open this box and see what all we found. This is... looks like a bag. Oh yeah, this is food! Okay, so it's like a bag of bowls of food. Here we have our new doll. And another doll. This is, uh, it looks like animals, okay. And more animals. An outfit and a small white box. Let's see what's in the box first. It says clip faucet. Oh, I know what this is. This was $6.49 on Amazon. And it's the second time I've bought this. But it is a paper clip holder that looks like a faucet. It is perfect for a 1-6 scale dollhouse. All you have to do is place it onto a counter and bam, instant sink. Now our dolls can wash their hands and stay nice and clean. This is definitely one of my favorite buys. It's been circulating in the doll world for quite a while. It is made of plastic. There is a magnet in the top of the faucet and it's pretty lightweight. Let's take a look at Lika. At the bottom it says Lika Bijou series. She was $44.72 available on Amazon Prime. On the back of the box, most of the text is written in Japanese, but we can read the little titles at the top. This one says coordinate, then display. Underneath it says Twitter, Instagram, official website, and the phone number. And there is a visual instruction on how to assemble the doll stand. Let's take her out of the box for a closer look. If I can get the lid open. Oh wow. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head. Out of the box, assemble the doll stand so she can stand up. There is a brace for one leg and one of her feet go in a small tray. Let's put on her shoes. She wears black high heel boots, a pink zip up jacket with gold beads stitched on the lapels. She has silver star earrings, wears a white lace shirt with a lace collar, ruffles on the sleeves and ruffles at the bottom. There is a black bow at the neck, the top velcros in the back. She wears a gathered layered skirt with stars and carries a black purse with gold painted details. She has long hair with a slight wave, movement at the head, the arm can rotate at the shoulder, and it bends. There's no joint, it seems like the arm is hollow with the wire inside, and it allows her to touch her ear. She can turn at the waist, wears undergarments, the leg can move forward and back at the hip, and she bends at the knee. The jacket has a large zipper in the front. It can be zipped. It has a belt with belt loops. Her purse can be worn across her body, standing around nine inches tall. This is a doll with some nice details in her clothing. There are a ton of fashion packs available for this doll. I bought the Lika Bijou series streetwalk outfit set for $34.99. Yeah, that's kind of pricey. The back of the box is pretty much the same as the back of the doll box. Most of the items are held in place with string. Out of the box, we have a white t-shirt with the American flag on the front. There's a really nice collar around the neck. A green jacket with a hood and fur trimmed around the top. It velcros in the front and has four faux pockets. 
She has a pair of jeans with a wide waistband, faux pockets on the sides, neat brown stitching, there is fraying across the bottom, a blue faux leather bag that you can actually put stuff in. If you move this little bead through the jump ring, it's pretty large inside. And she has a pair of red shoes. I wonder if my Barbie can fit this jacket. The sleeves do look a little short. Oh wow! Technically she can fit it, but the sleeves are a little short. Man, that's pretty cool though. The shoes fit my made to move Barbie? But that's a no for the pants. And the shirt is a crop top. Here is the whole outfit together on the doll it was actually made for. I am a big fan of casual style and I love that the jeans are real denim. Speaking of casual, here is another doll from the Lika Chan collection. On Amazon, it is listed as Lika Chan Doll LD-18 Boyfriend, I Look Much More. Priced at $34.87, he's about the same price as the outfit. Pretty much everything on this box is in Japanese. On the inside of the box, it says Haruto, so I'm guessing that's his name. He comes with a pair of shoes. There was no doll stand included. He has rooted brown hair, wears a blue shirt with a gray collar and gray around the bottom. It velcros in the back. Khaki shorts with an elastic waistband. Faux cargo pockets on the side with little brown buttons. Gray socks. And teal shoes with white painted details. He has articulation at the head, movement at the arm, they can go forward, back, out to the side, and they bend. This bendable arm thing is pretty cool. The leg can move at the hip, front, back, and that's it, front and back. But he can bend at the knee. He stands around 10 inches tall, making him taller than Lika-chan. I do wish he had came with a doll stand. That would have been perfect. We bought some more food from Amazon. Listed as five piece mixed assorted dollhouse miniature food, bowl, noodles, tiny fake food. I paid $11.99 and they look like keychains. And they are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Let's take one out of the wrapper and have a look. Oh, did that just fall off? What? It is definitely a keychain, and I'm gonna say it's a little too large for a 1-6 scale. It looks so realistic. You can see the noodles inside of the broth. Wow. But to me, that's a pretty large serving size for our dolls. Oh man. Each one is a little different. This one has a large piece of broccoli and some fried shrimp. They are all very detailed, colorful, and they look well made. If you remove the keychain, it does look like it would be a nice bowl of noodles for a doll. You know what? The proportions are about right for our smart doll. Yay! I am so happy this actually worked out. Now our smart doll has five bowls of noodles to choose from. This is totally a random buy, but I was curious, so let's check it out. It says Tang Tanger 8-piece set kawaii animal dog characters, priced at $10.87. So we're getting eight pets for $10, and they're supposed to be super cute. They're all individually packed. Each one is doing something different. Here is a dog on a soccer ball just kind of chilling out. This dog is laying on some flip-flops, two little pups eating from a dog bowl, a dog in a crate. Here is a white dog eating bones, another white dog, and it looks like he's playing with some toilet paper. He made a mess. Here is a brown dog in a basket. The dog is removable. Last but not least, this dog is taking a nap on some bricks with a little yellow chick. Since this set comes with two dogs, you actually get nine, not eight. The overall style is very kawaii, very playful. At $10, these could be a fun giveaway and like a birthday party. Or we could use them as a pet for our dolls. 
This company also makes cats. So I bought a bag of those as well. On Amazon, they are listed as Tang Tanger 10 piece one set kawaii animal cat characters with a price of $10.68. Wow, so this time we get 10. Ooh, I kind of like the look of the cats better. They have a little bit more of a realistic look, but it's still very cute. And look at that little pose. He's just knocked out. Wow, that's so adorable. This one is balancing an orange on its head. Look at those big old eyes. This little kitten is hanging on a branch. It is gray on the other side. And the little paws are painted. This little kitty is reaching up to get something. Once again, we have little painted paws. And he can balance all by himself, so that's cool. Little cat sitting down, painted all the way around. The eye paint is a little thick, but it's still a cute pose. This little cat is using its back leg to scratch. That is adorable. I love the pose. And look at the paint on the back. Lots of little details there. Not bad. Here's a little white and black cat. Little pink paws. And it's like it's about to rub up against your leg or something. Oh no, this one is stuck in a container. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, okay then. Looks like it's bath time over here. <laughs> I love that they made this. I'm sorry, I'm being totally immature, but yeah, that is, that's hilarious. Last but not least is a little black cat with yellow eyes. I used to have a cat that looked just like this and it has a cute little sneaky pose. Like what? What's going on? So it's cats versus dogs. Today, I'm gonna have to say the cats definitely won. The dogs are cute, they have a very cartoon style, but I could really see me using these cats in my dollhouses and in my photography. Especially you. Boy, you look like you had a rough day. We can place this little kitten in the sink and it looks like he's about to turn the water on. <laughs> That's a really bad idea, little kitten. Really bad idea. Overall, I am pretty happy with most of my Amazon purchases this time. I love the dolls. The sink is definitely one of my favorite items and those cats are pretty cute. I wish the noodles were smaller, but they do work for our smart dolls, so that's a save. Thank you for joining us for this Amazon haul. If you see something on Amazon that you would like for us to check out, let us know in the comments down below. Like comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!